So you criticised Saudi Arabia last week for what you called reckless leadership. Wasn't that a little bit undiplomatic? I wasn't talking specifically about Saudi Arabia. I was talking about uh, the region that it's uh, the main problem we have that there is a reckless leadership. Uh, there is a, a, a pattern of behavior which is happening from the blockading states and other nations which are uh, now undermining the regional security and stability. And we are not uh, saying this just in the for the sake of a criticism, but we are alerting that there is a growing concern in the region that will affect and impact right away uh, uh, the stability of the region. And we are alerting the international community since the region is very important uh, uh, for, every for everybody in the world. Uh, the Saudis and their allies say that uh, Qatar uh, sponsors extremist groups that destabilize the Middle East. Is that the case? It's not the case at all. Qatar is, is an active uh, uh, player in the war against terrorism. Actually, we've been one of the founding members of the Global Coalition and we are hosting the center for the Global Coalition. And everybody now starts to realize that it was just a smoke screen to justify the blockade against, against Qatar. And they know very well, they know the reality of our uh, contribution to the fight against terror. Uh, this narrative is being used by, uh, uh, by Saudi and UAE mainly to uh, justify and to gain sympathy with the West. As far as the conflict and the tensions between uh, Saudi Arabia and Qatar, your country, what are you doing to de-escalate those tensions? Uh, since the beginning, we've been calling for, for dialogue. And since the beginning, we want to understand what are the concerns of, of those countries. If it's a security concern, then it will be our own concern as well. So I need to, uh, to sit with them on the table in order to understand. They are uh, uh, using a different attitude, which is escalation. Uh, they did all uh, the, the illegal means against my country. They blockaded the only land border. Suddenly, we got up in the morning. There is no access for our supplies, uh, whether it's food or medicine, for our people. They expelled our people. They separated the families. They expelled students from their universities. There are more than 26,000 human rights violations conducted by Saudi and UAE and, and Bahrain. Uh, 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 because of because of this these illegal measures, and what they are doing, they are continue the same attitude. They uh, they submitted a list of demands and ultimatum, which is no country, no sovereign nation accept uh, other countries to impose any demands on it. We 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 remain calm. We didn't escalate against anyone. We act with the uh, uh, matter maturely, and we we to we told them that we are ready if you want to engage in a serious dialogue without touching the sovereignty or uh, the, inter uh, the international law, we are fine, we, we are willing to engage. Other than that, they want to remain with the stalemate and they want to uh, uh, get Qatar into submission. This is, will never happen. So you're saying that the Saudi Arabians have refused dialogue with you? They did, actually. The Saudi Arabia and UAE and uh, Bahrain and Egypt, the blockading states, uh, uh, they, they didn't want to engage in dialogue. We have been very cooperative with uh, the Emir of Kuwait and with the United States well, when it comes to the dialogue. We have issued more, we have 50, uh, 50 different statements by different officials from all levels about calling for dialogue. If you will count their uh, uh, statements about dialogue, you will find them, if you will find, you will find it very few. Other than that, Qatar cannot do uh, more. They are uh, the aggressor. Qatar was the victim. We were subject for a cyber attack to start and to create this entire uh, uh, crisis. And now they are claiming that they, they just, they, they are minimizing the issue and they are calling it, it's very minor and small issue. If it's very minor and small issue, it is destabilizing the, the Gulf countries, it is destabilizing the region, and it means that their minimization is really that they don't care about the stability of the region and the security of the region. They don't care about the GCC as an organization which meant to be for collective security. Are you in direct contact with your Saudi counterpart, with the Saudi Arabian foreign minister? Absolutely, there is no contact. They have cut off, they have closed all the lines of communication since the cyber attack started. And we didn't, uh, we didn't see any responses from them. The only contact we have uh, is through the Kuwaiti mediation. Your Excellency, thank you very much for talking to DW News. Thank you, sir.